All right, I've got the Inquisitive open. We're ready to go. So let's take a look at this here. Um, one of the possible questions is identify these different chord progressions matched with the Roman numerals. And now you look at this and you're like, ah, they're all some type of one, five, one. No, stop, stop. You can be able to hear these very differently. Don't think Roman numerals and inversions, that this stuff is crap. Figure out what's our bass line for these? What, which, which notes would we expect to hear in the bass? Okay. I've got a 1-6, so I've got a 6-3, stepping down to a 4-3, stepping down. Oh, I know where that happens. That happens on Mi, Re, Do. Mi, Re, Do. Mi, 6-3, Re, 4-3. It's only 4-3 chord we know right now. Going to a Do, 5-3. Okay, so if I hear Mi, Re, Do in the bass, it's going to be that. All right. 4-2, 4-2. That's my Fa, 4-2 to a 6-3. That's Mi, 6-3. Think of this as figured bass. Don't think Roman numerals. Think figured bass. It makes your life so much easier. It ties to what you actually hear. Rameau used to complain about musicians that trusted their ears instead of his logic, such as it was. Always trust your ears. Do, Fa, Mi. All right, so this one. Do, Re, Do, or Do, and the T, 6, 5, T, Do. Really, if, I, if I'd coded equivocative, if I'd been the one who wrote it, I would have used figured bass, and I would have just, forget Roman numerals. Since you have Roman numerals here, you're going to have to do that translation. Look at the Roman numeral, figure out what the bass note should be for it. It makes your life so much easier. Because now we can play it, and we can listen. Where's my bass? Do, Fa, Mi. Oh, that's really easy, because Fa, Mi is our 4, 2, 2, or 6, 3. Fa, 4, 2, Mi, 6, 3. Bam. Do, Ti, Do. And of course, that would be a do five three t six five do five three, which is to say, this with the Roman numerals. Mi re do so mi six three re four three do five three, which means the last one must go do re do. So we listen. Do re do so that's our do. Five three re four three do five three, just like that, and absolutely fantastic, nice and easy. All right, next question I was going to look at was number fifteen. Just showing you a sample of the different questions. You know, if I show you all the answers, you wouldn't get to practice and get any better. <laughs> this is an exercise written by a Romelian because, look at this, I don't even have to listen to the music. They gave me the baseline. I don't even need to see the top line. Honestly, I can look at the bass line. I can tell you what the chords are without hearing it and without seeing the soprano. Look at this. We're in the key of C major. T, Do, Fa, Mi, Sol, Do. Now that's going to be really easy, isn't it? T, 6, 5, going to Do, 5, 3. Fa, Mi, there's a Paso and Dietro. So that's going to be a Fa, 4, 2, going to Mi, 6, 3. Sol, 5, 3, or Sol, 7, 5, 3, whichever one I have available, going to Do, Five three at the end, and look, they don't even have the option to have a five or a five seven, the soul five three or the soul seven five three, which means literally, I know T gets goes that, I know Do gets this, I know Fa is our four two, I know Mi is our six three, I know Sol five three going to Do five three. You literally, if you know your figured base. You can literally not even listen to the exercise. You notice I didn't even pay attention to the stuff in the soprano. My bass, harmony is all about that bass and tell me what it is. Let's listen just to hear it. Yeah, I heard this lovely comma here. Tito with a fa mi at the same time, that's a comma. I heard the paso indietro and then a nice little perfect authentic cadence at the end. Cantizans, Basizans in this. So that was really easy. You didn't even need to listen to that one. Just know your bass. Uh, and then the trick, of course, is being able to translate into the, the second language of Roman numerals, which is annoying, but it comes with practice. All right, so let's go to now our, let's we can go to question number 54. I don't know how many questions there are here, so I'm going to have to Skip those. There are 64 questions there, so 10 before that one. 64, 59, somewhere around here or so. 54, there we go. 
Okay. Whoa, look at all those Roman numerals. Stop. Don't worry about Roman numerals. I want you to listen. I want you to hear the bass line. Some good things in this one, right? Did you hear it was like a fragment of a Romanesque at the beginning? It didn't go do sol, it went do la. Do la mi fa. It's, it's, I almost heard the Romanesque. Do sol la mi fa. Hearing common patterns uh, as you develop your cognitive pathways and, and really just stick in lots of common chunks of music together, you'll start hearing them. It makes your life easier, even if it didn't go do, sol, la, mi, fa. So I heard part of a Romanesca there. So do, la, mi, fa. And then the end I heard mi, fa, sol, do. Everybody's favorite bass line in the world, right? Mi, fa, sol, do. Great tonic, plagal, authentic tonic resolution there. Okay, so let's listen one more time. Hear that bass line. There it is. Good. All right. So, Do, what did we hear? We heard a Do 5 3. Translate that into Roman numerals. It has to be the one. I heard it going to a law that wasn't resolving to solar T. So, it's not going to be our passing law 6 3, it's going to be our 5 3. We talked about the different flavors of law and how they tend to behave. This is a law skipping to me. We would expect that to be a law 5-3, which is to say the sixth chord. Easy enough. All right, me. Me, we do have to listen. Was it a 3, the me sol t, or was it the me 6-3? Was it a 5-3 or a 6-3? Well, in this case, because I was kind of hearing Romanesca, Leaping Romanesca, my ear would pick up on that Mi 5 3 right away. Let's just listen here. That. Ba -da -da -ba -da. You hear that minor dark sound on that? Uh, that would be our Mi 5 3. There we go. All right. Continuing our falling thirds progressions here, look at the downbeat. Do 5 3, La 5 3. I'd expect you to go to Fa 5 3, which is to say a four chord. The fa went fa mi instead of fa sol. Paso indietro, that's going to be the fa four two going to the mi six three every time. So what's going to go there? The four two chord, five four two, fa four two is so a five four two going to the mi six three one six. Fa, uh oh, I'm going to have to figure out is it my four or my two six? Is it my fa five three or my fa six three? I'm actually going to have to listen to something other than the bass. To figure that one out. So the only option here for the soul and the bass is the five. Do five three at the end. The end's on our one. So what am I gonna listen for? Did I hear a re t do or re re do at the end? Or did I hear a do t do? And that's gonna help me here. Do t do, I would have heard the four going to the five. Re t do, I would have heard the two six going to the five. So let's listen. melody at the end do re mi okay so if it goes do re mi oh it had a re in it fa to re is a six it has to be the fa, the fa six three for that re to be there what does that give us roman numeral two six so just being aware of those expectations and, and the differences between them makes it very easy last one let's go to number 24 All right, we're going to do a little soprano, a little bass, and then apply the chords to this. So just some basic dictation. All 
I think because I just heard the Do, Re, Mi in the soprano in the last one, my ear went to the upper voice first. So I was listening to the soprano first. Listen one more time. If you weren't listening to the soprano, listen to the soprano this time. Just it's good practice sometimes to do them up first. That was not a terribly exciting soprano line, was it? Soul. I even gave you this that starting pitch. I told you it started on soul. Soul. Repeated. Soul. Do. Do. Soul. Soul. Really simple. Not terribly exciting. Soprano line. Okay. Let's get the bass. Because the harmony is all about that bass. If we have our bass line. And then we can tack some Roman numerals onto the bass. Do, re, mi, fa, re, do. All right, easy enough. Do, re, mi, fa, re. Okay, what are we expecting? We're expecting a Do 5 3 at the beginning, right? So that's going to be R1. Easy enough. Re, I've got a Re in between the Do and the Mi. Not a Re 5 3, not a 2 chord. Never a 2 chord in that situation. Just, that's crap. Don't do it. The voice leading wouldn't work. Do Re Mi. So what are we going to have? We're going to have our passing Re 5 4 3. There it is, Re 4 3. Going to our Mi 6 3, 1 6, fantastic. Okay. Fa. Do have some interesting possibilities for the Fa, right? Is it a Fa San Dietro or is it the Plagal Fa? Well, here's where it actually helps our, with have our soprano with a note up there. Fa to Do. Ah, 5 4 2, Fa to Do. Or do, that's a fifth. Can't be a 5 4 2. Also, if it were a fa four two, where would it be going next? It'd be going to mi six three. That's how it resolves. So not the four the fa four two, not the five four two. It means it has to be the four, fa five three, just to say the four. Tonic prolongation. There's our plagal, going back to our authentic for our re five four three, resolving back home to our do five three, the one chord. So again, by being aware of your bass line by knowing your rule of the octave and how these chords behave the fact that t65 goes to do53 the fact that a fa42 goes to mi63 the fact that the re43 chord acts as a passing chord in between do53 mi63 connecting those up makes your life easy too and these inquisitives shouldn't be that hard for you